let us integrate uh, sine inverse of x. Uh, in some textbook, they also call arc sine, so sine inverse of x dx. So we're going to use the integrating by parts method. So here, what I've done is I've written this as sine inverse of x times 1 dx. Okay. So I'll let f of x, the first function, to be sine inverse of x. And the second function I have let as g dash x. So this is a gradient function, and this is a function. So now to be able to uh, differentiate this function. Now, the differentiation of this, uh, if you know it's good, but let us differentiate this. So writing, if y is sine inverse of x, I can write x is sine y. And differentiating both sides with respect to y, d by dy of x is equal to d by dy of sine y. Okay, d by dy of x is nothing but dx by dy and d by dy of d by dy of sine y is cos y okay now i take the reciprocal of both of them so dy by dx is 1 over because the other this is cos y over 1 so this will become 1 over cos y and therefore and cos y is square root of 1 minus sine squared so we have used identity sine squared x plus cos squared x or cos squared y. We are writing in terms of y, so I can say cos sine squared y plus cos squared y is equal to 1. So cos y is uh, square root of 1 minus sine squared. And what is sine y? Sine y is nothing but x. So I can write dy by dx is 1 minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. So this is a good formula to remember that uh, the, gra the, the gradient or the derivative of sine inverse of x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Or also, if you integrate this, you get sine inverse of x. Okay, so I have rewritten the whole thing again. So if f of x is sine inverse of x, f dash x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And when you integrate this, if g dash x is 1, g of x is x. Or conversely, if g of x is x, g dash x would be 1. So now this is the per, uh, chain rule. Sorry, this is the integrating by parts formula. Uh, integration of f of x times g dash x dx is equal to f of x times g of x minus integration of f of x f dash x times g of x dx now it's a easy formula to remember what you do is you integrate this line this times this is equal to the product of this two the product of this two minus the uh, integration of this line that's what i've done that's how i remember okay so i'll just just substitute the values so f of x is sine inverse of x times g of x is x minus integration of f dash x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared times x dx. Okay, now to integrate this, I've done, uh, let me remove the wheel. So I want you to look at this side. So I have let this denom uh, the term inside the radical as t okay so 1 minus x squared is t so minus x squared is t minus 1 so x squared is uh, 1 minus t so uh, t is 1 minus x squared i could have deleted i there there was no need to write this step okay so whatever so t is equal to 1 minus x squared so now differentiating with respect to or applying the derivative operator d by dx of t is equal to d by dx of 1 minus t squared, 1 minus x squared. So d by dx of t is nothing but dt by dx. The derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of minus x squared is minus 2x. So cross multiplying, you can say x dx is nothing but negative half dt. So in place of x dx, 
we can put negative half dt. So in this is y in place of x dx I put I have to put a negative half here. So this is negative half dt. And this negative and negative becomes positive and that's why I put a positive here and I factor a the half out and this becomes t to the power negative half and so this I have to write a half here so this is integrating t to the power negative half would be you have to add one to this that will be uh, t to the power half over half and this half becomes this is 1 over 2 1 over 2 and this becomes 2 times 2 times this 2 will go to the numerator that's how and then this and this gets cancelled so finally you get x times uh, x times sine inverse of x times uh, plus sorry plus square root of t plus c and t is nothing but 1 minus x squared and so this is the integration of sine inverse of x is x times sine inverse of x plus square root of 1 minus x squared plus c.